Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. A couple of weeks ago, I got this kit from a Chinese company called Electro. This is Raspberry Pi Pico Advanced Kit with 32 sensors and modules. Using this kit, you can make 30 plus projects, including 5 to 7 robotic projects. Unboxing this kit showed so many sensor modules wrapped inside a plastic package. Well. I have to go through each module to find what exactly it had, but thanks for the documentation part that made me easy. It has a Raspberry Pi Pico board, some LCD LED displays, basic sensors, motors, RFID modules, breadboards, jumper wires, encoders, keypads, etc. Well, the price value of this product seems to be more than $100, but thanks to the Electro team, the price value is only $37.99. I have attached the link for purchasing this kit. If you want to continue to strengthen your thinking, hands-on ability and innovation ability then this is a perfect package for you. Let's see all the projects that I have done using this kit. Let's see what are the sensors module I got inside this kit. A soldered Raspberry Pi Pico board with RP2040 microcontroller. A capacitive soil moisture sensor for measuring soil humidity. RFID RC522 module with a pair of RFID tags. TM1637 4 digit 7 segment display. An analog potentiometer. A 16 cross 2 LCD display with I square C module pre soldered on it. Joystick module. 5 volt DC gear motor including a fan. Edge breeze DC motor driver. A 0.96 inches SST1306 I square C OLED display. Raindrop sensor module. Traffic light controller module. Flame sensor for fire detection. IR remote plus IR transmitter LED plus IR receiver. SC90 servo motor. HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor module. The ST11 humidity temperature sensor. Sound detection sensor module. Rotary encoder module ir sensor module a pair of limit switch passive infrared sensor laser module read switch light dependent register module vibration sensor rcv led module 5 different color LED Push button switch Bodger 4 cross 4 keypad matrix module Magnet 3 different breadboard Male to female jumper wires Micro USB cable for connecting Raspberry Pi Pico with your computer. And finally, a robotic assembly kit for making different types of robots. I will cover the robotic section in some other videos. Using this kit, you can make more than 32 projects. In this video, I will discuss the 26 projects only. The remaining 6 projects are the robotic projects. That will be discussed in some other videos. All these projects are based on MicroPython code only. Let's have a look over it. The first project as usual is the LED blinking. You can upload the MicroPython blink sketch and check the onboard LED of Pi Pico blinking after a second. The second project is breathing LED. Through PWM pulse width modulation, the LED light is controlled to light up gradually and then gradually turn off. So 
is to form a breathing light effect in a cycle. The third project is colorful flowing light. Through the GP port of the Pico, the five LED lights are controlled to light off in turn and then turn off in turn to form a colorful flowing light. The fourth project is controlling the RGB LED. We can control the three primary colors of the RGB LED to display different brightness randomly. So, is to realize the colorful light effect. The fifth project is switch controlled LED light. The Raspberry Pi Pico detects the level change of the button to determine whether the button was pressed. Press the button to turn on the LED light for the first time and press the button to turn off the LED light again. The sixth project is voice activated light. Sound sensor detects the level change of the sound sensor through Raspberry Pi Pico. When the sound loudness is greater than the threshold, the sensor is triggered and then the RCV LED is controlled to light off and then automatically turns off after waiting for 3 seconds. The seventh project is PIR motion detection. The PIR sensor will detect whether someone was present in the sensor detection area through the Raspberry Pi Pico. If a person is detected, the light will be turned on and the light will be automatically turned off after a period of time. The eighth project is torque activated light using LDR module. The LDR sensor will detect the amount of light falling on it. If it detects darkness, the LED will turn on and in case if it detects the presence of light, it will turn off. The ninth project is laser security system. The laser light is directly pointed at the LDR sensor. Whenever the pointing system is obstructed by any barrier, then the RGB LED starts blinking. Else, if the system is fine, the LED will turn blue. The tenth project is based on read switch. Whenever the read switch detects the magnet nearby, the buzzer will turn on. The 11th project is based on TM1637 4 digit 7 segment display. We will display a random number of characters or anything to check the working of TM1637 display. The 12th project is traffic light controller. We will control the red light to turn on and red lights goes off after 30 seconds. Then the yellow light flashes 5 times with a time interval of 0.3 seconds. Finally, the green light turns on for 10 seconds and then turns off, reciprocating, simulating the effect of traffic lights. The 13th project is an anti theft alarm using the vibration sensor. The level signal of the vibration sensor is detected by the Raspberry Pi Pico and when vibration is detected, the buzzer is controlled to sound to achieve the effect of an anti theft alarm. The 14th project is desktop dimming light. You can rotate the potentiometer to control the brightness of the lamp to achieve the effect of dimming the desk lamp.
The 15th project is fan speed controlling using the potentiometer and motor driver module. You can rotate the potentiometer to control the motor driver to output different voltages to achieve the effect of a speed regulation fan. The 16th project is controlling the servo motor SC90. Raspberry Pi Pico is programmed to control the servo motor to rotate back and forth through the Pico. The 17th project is mechanical arm. In this project, you can control the rotation of the servo motor using the joystick. The motion of the servo is fully controlled by joystick only. The 18th project is the scrolling text call billboard. We will use the 16 cross 2 i square c LCD display to display some scrolling text like Hello Pico. The 19th project is the mini weather station. The ambient temperature value and humidity value are monitored in real time through the DST11 temperature and humidity sensor and displayed on the LCD1602 module synchronously. The 20th project is float warning project. It stimulates the float control alarm system judges whether there is a flood disaster through the amount of rain detected by the sensor panel of the raindrop sensor and then controls the buzzer to emit a siren sound and displays the alarm information on the LCD1602 LCD screen. The 21st project is fire alarm project. The system simulates a fire alarm system just whether a fire occurs by judging whether the induction probe of the flame sensor detects the fire source, control the RGB lights to flash red and blue, and display the alarm information on the LCD1602 liquid crystal screen. The 22nd project is ultrasonic range finder. Using the HCSR04 module, we can detect the distance of an obstacle and display it on the OLED display. Since distance is measured using ultrasonic waves, this project is named an ultrasonic range finder. The 23rd project is simple calculator. Using the matrix keypad module, you can add, subtract, multiply and divide. The process is displayed on OLED display as it works like a calculator. The 24th project is Soil Moisture Measurement. Using the capacitive soil moisture sensor, we can measure the quantity of moisture content present in the soil. The sensor is placed inside the soil and by putting some water on the soil, some quantity of moisture is detected and displayed on OLED screen. The 25th project is the electronic hourglass. You can turn the encoder to set the time and it will be displayed on the TM1637 4 bits digital tube in real time. Press the button and the electronics hourglass starts working. The 26th project is RFID-based access control system. 
In this project, we will first scan some RFID cards and use the tag number in other cards. Whenever a correct tag is detected, the green and blue LED will turn on. In case if wrong RFID card is scanned, the red LED will turn on. That is all about the 26 projects that we have discussed here. There will be a dedicated video on robotic project, a total of 6 in another video. I hope you liked the video. All the projects detail, source code and written tutorial is given on How to Electronics website article. You can also check the purchase link for this kit in the description. Thank you so much for watching.